Hi guys, today we will build the pallets. I begin to glue the felt on the leather. It's important to use a vinyl glue and not aliphatic, so that it remains elastic. Now I cut the slats that will form the valves with an inclination of 15 degrees. They are of first choice spruce, with straight grain to avoid deformations. And cut them to a length of 10 cm. I need 28, but I cut twice as much to choose the best ones. Now I prepare the front groove, which serves to guide the valves in their stroke. The thickness of the groove depends on the diameter of the pin used. Now I make the holes for the rear pins, which will act as fulcrum for the rear valve. The flaring stops about 2 mm from the bottom. I cut the back at 40 degrees to allow the valve to open. You will see better later. I sand the valves and check the width. It must be 30 mm. Here are the valves ready to be leathered. I trim the leather to sides, the width must be 80 mm. I prepare the hot glue. The advantage of using this type of glue is that it's heat reversible, very convenient in case of maintenance.
I cut perfectly flush with a well sharpened blade. The leather felt seal must remain soft, I used a smooth synthetic leather, much easier to use than the lambskin which will be used for the bellows instead. Now I prepare the holes for the pins that will guide the valves. Before putting the pins on, apply a couple of coats of filler and sand finely, so that there are no micro cracks that could cause the valves to lose air. I insert the rear pins with a jig that allow me to keep them squared and all at the same height. The pins are brass nails, which I cut off the head. I do the same with the front ones, to which I have not removed the head. Now we can insert the valves. The gap between one valve and the other is minimal and it is necessary to check that they move freely. It's a good idea to number the valves because they will take the shape of the seat. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and leave a like. Thank you.